One of the main reasons why people buy premium ANC headphones is so that they can block out noise, especially while they're on an airplane. Now, even though they're not perfect, both the Bose QC Ultra and the Bose QCs are great premium ANC headphones to consider flying with because they block out a ton of noise, they're very comfortable to wear, and they have decently small cases. So today, we're going to compare the ANC performance on both the Bose QC Ultra and the Bose QCs while at cruising altitude and and we're also going to compare them to their predecessors, the Bose QC45s, which have been my daily drivers for the last two years, and the Bose NC700s, and we're going to see if it's worth it to you to upgrade from these headphones to Bose's newer headphones. But I do want to point out that this ANC test was recorded while at cruising altitude, and yes, I was running around the airport with 10 different headphones in my carry-on. But it's very important to point out that this ANC test was collected while at cruising altitude because at cruising altitude there are atmospheric pressure changes which does affect the overall performance of the active noise cancellation on your headphones when compared at ground level. So the active noise cancellation in this video is going to be different from the active noise cancellation test that you'll find in the original videos of these headphones. But with all that being said, we're just going to go ahead and jump into the ANC test. So first off, all of these headphones block out an adequate amount of noise for a pair of premium ANC headphones even in 2024. However, the Bose NC700s block out the least amount of noise here and these are the oldest headphones here. But then there are the Bose QC45s which block out a little more noise than the Bose NC700s. But then there are the new Bose QCs and these block out just a little bit more noise than the Bose QC45. But personally, I feel that the performance difference between these two headphones is so small, I don't think that it would justify upgrading from the Bose QC45s to the Bose QCs. But then there are the Bose QC Ultras and these block out the most amount of noise here and personally I do feel that the performance difference found on the Bose QC Ultra is enough to justify upgrading from the Bose QCs and the Bose QC45s and the Bose NC700s. Now when it comes to cabin pressure on these headphones, I did notice that cabin pressure was not an issue with either of these two headphones if you have music playing in the background or if you're watching a movie. However, if you're not playing anything then you might feel a little bit of pressure on your eardrums but it's definitely not unbearable like with Bose's older headphones like the Bose QC35s. So overall when it comes to active noise cancellation on these headphones the Bose QC Ultras block out the most amount of noise here while at cruising altitude and I do feel that the performance improvements found on the Bose QC Ultra is enough to justify upgrading from either the Bose QCs or the Bose QC45s which have been my daily drivers for the last two years. And if you have the Bose NC700s going with any of Bose's newer headphones you are going to notice a noticeable ANC performance improvement but also with Bose's newer headphones you are going to get a smaller case than the case that comes with the Bose NC700. If you made it this far I guess you enjoyed the video so hit the like button and get subscribed. If you want to pick any of the products up they'll be linked down below and if you want to further support the channel check out the merch. I made some shirts and hoodies that look and feel great and you know I can be very particular so I'll only slap my name on something if I'm really proud of it.